little rotation over to the left. And I'm going to say, breathe when you want to breathe. But it would, uh-huh. Then I'm going to say, start to roll back into some extension over to the right side. Feel the rotation bring you around. It has an essence of some side bending as well. Come back to center. And she's so excited. She wanted to come off the barrel because she's strong. That's what your strong people are going to do. They're going to be like, can I make it bigger? You could, just not today. Okay. Now go over to the left. And it's an around the world. Feel inhale here, feel inhale, inhale, open, open, open. Now, when you come around from the exhale, start low in the exhale, pubic bones zipping up. That's the hard place for her where she's finding this cross section of abdominals from ribs and rotation to these lower abdominals here, right? That's what I'm saying about adding in multiple planes because she's going through a few planes in space right here and a nice controlled work. And yes, Take this moment of rib splay, but splay the top of the ribs just as much as the lower ribs. And here's the next part. Your exhale doesn't come down. Your exhale moves towards the air holes. Right. Can you see that line of swan? Can you see that beautiful line of all the advanced swans coming through there? Of how if she wanted to, she could straighten her legs and put her head down for a wrestler's bridge. I'm not going to ask her to, but she could. All right. Coming back up around. Yeah, go to the right. We were doing those. <laughs> Come center, right? And now we're going to ask for just a little bit of more low abs, and I'm going to ask her to very carefully slide one foot out, pull knee to chest. Now in this, this is hip flexor, right? Like, duh, hip flexor flex. How does the exhale help your hip flexor to help pull and scoop? And there's that at last little bit. Set it down. You can sneak it under, but we're going to do some bridges after that, so you could also leave it out. So I always ask to see the exhale start moving first. Because I know the hip flexor can flex, but can this exhale? Yes. And if you need to, you can get a little bit more support on those ribs. Yep. See, here's a place where I see where there wants to be some dropping down. So where's this work of core in here to help hold? Yes. And set it down. Just stay that far back. Right? Because I get to see that pelvic stability. Is there rotation somewhere in the lumbar that I don't need just to make hip flexion happen? You got to give me a lot of more curl, curl your pubic bone towards your sternum on an exhale. Thank you. Keep it there. Other light comes to you. Keep it there. Now roll up just a little bit in that everybody. Yeah, you see where teaser's coming? See where teaser's coming? See where hundred's coming? Can all that? Keeping this, I'm going to help anchor her and back into your extension. Keep pulling from underneath your belly button. You see how much farther back she's getting. She's getting closer and closer to the actual bear back there. Now stay there for me. Go ahead and put one foot down, plant it and the other foot down, right? Now go ahead and lift your hips up for a little shoulder bridge action there. And in that works up. Yes, that's where we start seeing the dive, right? Now keep your hips up for me. Come chin to chest. If you want to do arm circles, you, know, you want to do arm circles. She's like, I want a circle. Right, and back up and going back again. So you get to do a little bit of shoulder bridge with it. When can you lift your hips? When can that feeling come back with you? Yeah, you can do whatever arm choreography you want and roll back up. That is a lovely way to 